starting from the top, from the earliest questions asked. Uh, Michael asks, uh, there are more intellectuals on the right than you give them credit for. No, I know exactly how much credit I give. Uh, and no, the, 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 the world is dominated by intellectuals on the left. And, they, and most of the intellectuals on the, on the right are heavily influenced by intellectuals on the left. And it's easy. Just look at the number of books published, how many of them are written by people on the left, and how many do people on the right. It's no contest. Look at university professors. 90% of them on the left, 10% of them on the right. And the more influential ones on the left. Uh, look at the think tanks. Uh, you can look at, look at media. Look at newspapers. Look at magazines. I mean, it's, yes, there are intellectuals on the right. Many of them really, really, really bad. I never said they weren't. But the world is dominated by intellectuals on the left. Think about the last 200 years. The people, uh, the intellectuals, the dominant intellectuals have been feeding. Thomas Sowell is not influential. Thomas Sowell is a great intellectual. But he's not influential. In the debate of a CRT and in the debate of yeah, I mean, most intellectuals are anti-intellectuals, fine, but they are intellectuals in the sense that they write, they speak, they promote ideas to the public. That's what an intellectual does. Right? Their ideas might be anti-conceptual, but you know, Thomas Sowell is not a voice in, in, uh, on racism today. No, you know, yeah, they're, they're like a handful of people who take his ideas seriously. But in the debate, out there in the culture, the left dominates that debate. Yeah, but I'm not saying they're none. And if you look, if you think about philosophers, who's a philosopher of the right over the last 200, 200 years since the founding fathers? Who's a philosopher associated with, with, with markets? Spencer? Nobody cares or nobody thinks about him, and he was pretty bad at that. So in terms of the intellectuals that count, whether you like it or not, and this is not a dig against the right, it's just a factual, historical reality. I think it's also a dig against the right. The dominant intellectuals, you know, what is the equivalent of the, the, the postmodernists? Yeah, I mean, there was Mises and Hayek and Friedman, those were giants. But for every one of those, there were like 30 of the left. And there is no Hayek, Mises, or Friedman today. And the better ones, yeah, Robert Nozick, yeah, I mean, that's the point. You can name them on, on one hand. So what was, the rest, what was the rest of the question? That's why people were going after you on the comment section and Mark Rutt. Fine, but it's a reality. If you want to pretend that the right is pr promoted all these intelligence, then why have we lost? Why, we, not we. Why have they lost? Because I'm not of the right. Why have they lost? No, they, they've lost for two reasons. One, they don't have many intellectuals. And two, they're not very good. Not in terms of combating the left, because conservatives are status quo. Conservatives are looking backwards. You're not going to win by looking backwards. All right. Um, what is it that Silicon Valley likes about the left? They think those of us who can't code are hopeless idiots that need to be controlled. I can code. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it has to do with your ability to code or not ability to code. I think, um, I think they resent the right for being religious. If, if you don't believe in evolution, why would I vote for you if I'm an engineer or a scientist? I think uh, many of them are super smart, and they do indeed think, they, they bought into the philosopher king idea, that they can indeed manage your life better than you can because you're not as smart as them. 
I definitely think that's a part of it. Um, I think that um, the right has failed to present a coherent, inspiring, exciting case for um, capitalism and freedom. And at the end of the day, the left dominates educational establishments. All they've heard since they were in kindergarten was the left's agenda. And they would have to be original thinkers and real giants to be able to escape that. But I think, again, you, you, you give them too little credit. I think it's a real important and interesting question why people in Silicon Valley are so leftist. And I wouldn't dismiss it as we can't code and they want to run our lives. I, I think that's a, that's a silly way to think about it. And not a helpful way. Again, curiosity. You should be curious, legitimately curious. I am. Legitimately curious about why the left has so much appeal among smart people. Look, if, if you're interested in IQ studies, the left dominates the IQ. The, 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 the median IQ of people who vote Democratic is higher than the median IQ of people who vote Republican. They, they, they beat Republicans on education. They beat Republicans on IQ. Um, they probably beat Republicans on curiosity. So it should really be an issue. Why? And this is the kind of stuff that you should be curious about and not just accept bromides as answers. You should think and, 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 and try to think about it. I, I Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.